Every time throughout history, we have put better and more powerful technology in the hands of creators. I think we collectively get better creative output and people do just more amazing stuff. I mean, Your company has been releasing crazy insane new models pretty much every other week, it feels like. Sam Altman just dropped a vision bomb, one that could shift the lives of billions. If you say, I want to generate art in the style of these seven people, all of whom have consented to that, how do you like divvy up how much money goes to each one? Right. These are like big questions, but... OpenAI isn't just releasing cool tools anymore. It's building the foundation of the intelligence age. And if you've used chat GPT or seen AI art explode all over your feed, you're already part of it. It's about a future where AI becomes your personal assistant, tutor, researcher, and even health guide. A world where intelligence is on demand for everyone. Let's break down what OpenAI just announced and why it could be the biggest leap since the internet itself. OpenAI now touches the lives of over 800 million people. That's one in 10 humans on the planet. Just let that sink in. This kind of adoption hasn't been seen since the rise of smartphones. And what's fueling this boom? It's not just ChatGPT's charm, it's the viral power of features like image and video generation. People are using AI to turn their thoughts into artwork, presentations, business plans, even memes. This is the creator economy on steroids, and it's being powered by prompts. From classrooms in Tokyo to creators in Toronto, AI is no longer some niche tech trend. It's as normal as Google, and OpenAI is leading that charge. But what happens when AI gets creative? When millions start generating Ghibli-style art or Van Gogh-style portraits at the click of a button, where does that leave real artists? OpenAI's current policy avoids imitating living artists directly, but Sam Altman knows that's not enough. In fact, he floated an idea that could be a game-changer, a revenue-sharing model for artists. Opt in, and if your style is used by AI, you get paid. Imagine Spotify for brush strokes, or YouTube monetization for painters. Of course, it's messy. How do you quantify a style? What if an AI blends three at once? But at least now, the conversation is moving beyond copyright claims, towards collaboration and fair compensation. Altman says it best, paying artists would be cool. And in the intelligence age, that could become reality. Again, I would say some creative people are very upset. Some creatives are like, this is the most amazing tool ever. I'm doing incredible new work. Um, but, you know, like, it's, it's definitely a change. And I have a lot of, like, empathy to, to people who are just like, I wish this change weren't happening. This is, I liked the way things were before. I liked the, sorry, sorry. But that, that's right. But we're talking here about the situation where someone specifically in a prompt names someone. Y yeah, so I... Well, again, right now, if you try to like go generate an image in a name right. style, we just say that our living, we don't do it. But I think it would be cool to figure out a new model where if you say, I want to do it in the name of this, this artist and they opt in, there's a revenue model there. That's, okay. I think that's a good thing to explore. So, so I think the world should help you figure out that model quickly, and I think it would make a, make a huge difference, actually. Altman calls it the intelligence age, a world where AI isn't just something you use, it's something that helps run your life. Picture this, an AI that books your travel, creates your lesson plans, optimizes your workouts, or helps your grandparents manage their meds. We've already started with digital assistants, but those were toys compared to what's coming. These ice will be adaptive, multimodal, and deeply personalized. They'll remember your goals, understand your context, and maybe even recommend what you should be doing next. It's not about replacing humans, it's about enhancing what's possible for every one of us. That's why OpenAI just closed a $40 billion funding round, yes, billion, with backing from heavyweights like Microsoft and SoftBank. This pushes OpenAI's valuation to a jaw-dropping $300 billion. And it's not just sitting on that money, they're using it to build massive data centers across the US Midwest and Southwest. We're talking I dedicated infrastructure built from the ground up, like the space race, but for intelligence. And the stakes? Control of the world's most valuable resource, data-driven insight. This isn't just a tech flex. It's about building the roads We're of the intelligence age. moving into a period when, for the first time ever, 
we may have things more intelligent than us. Until now, AI has been reactive. You type, it responds. But the next evolution? AI agents. Not just talkers, doers. Imagine giving your AI a mission. Book me a flight, find hotels under $150, and get me an itinerary for Kyoto's top three sushi spots. No back and forth. It just handles it. These agents will browse websites, fill forms, scrape data, and execute tasks on your behalf. So what does this mean for you? The student, the entrepreneur, the employee, the parent. If you've ever dreamed of a coach who knows your goals, a tutor who teaches at your pace, or a marketing assistant who never sleeps, OpenAI is building it. Sam Altman's team isn't just building a better chatbot, they're engineering digital intelligence infrastructure. For people, for businesses, for society, this is your signal. Learn to prompt, learn to build, stay curious, because the future won't be waiting for permission. This is the intelligence age. It's already begun. And you? You're in it. Subscribe and turn on that notification bell. Because we break down the next wave of AI, before it hits the headlines. From OpenAI's boldest moves, to tools that give you superpowers, this is your front row seat to the intelligence age. Don't just scroll through history. Be a part of it.